What's up everyone? My name is Roshni and this is Betty Grew Up. So I'm here today to talk to you about how and why existentialism can actually be a positive concept. So um, this is the first series in my Paradigm Shift series and I actually wanted to create the, these videos because I want to offer just a different way of looking at the world because I feel like so much of the stuff that we put ourselves through um, is honestly just a result of like mental barriers or mental traps that we've set up for ourselves and I know this doesn't apply in every single situation but I really do think that just having a shift in perspective can honestly make you feel like a new person. A lot of the times people talk about having an existential crisis or um, you know you hear that term a lot and I wanted to talk about what existentialism really is and how it can actually really be a positive thing. Um, so basically, there's obviously a ton of information out there and you can do your own research on what existentialism is. So I just want to give a really brief summary so this video isn't too long. Um, but basically, it encapsulates the idea of the absurd. So basically, the fact that humans will always have this desire to find meaning in our lives and to apply meaning to every situation. But everything doesn't really have meaning and existentialism is more in the camp of you know, things are just more random and things just happen and things are more coincidences instead of everything happening for a reason. So it doesn't really assign a situation or a person or anything as good or bad, but instead just as it is. And so um, it can definitely be a little bit of a terrifying concept to think like, my life has no purpose. I have no meaning. Like, what is what does that mean? Like, I have no value. Like, how am I supposed to deal with that? And so it's really not that at all. You have to find meaning for yourself, and existentialism talks about this as well. It keeps encouraging you to find meaning because as humans, we're never going to stop doing that. And it kind of sets it up so that it's really just in our own hands and that we can assign our own meaning to our lives. And and I think that that's such a great weight and a, such a great reason to think about authenticity and why it's so important to be an authentic person. Um, and it can kind of remind you to not lose sight of yourself and to not forget about who you are. And that honestly is so important because the more that we're in touch with ourselves, the more that we're in touch with our emotions and the more that we can keep that in check, the more that we can have better control of the relationships and the situations in our life. And the more that we feel like we have some level of healthy control and that we're actually taking care of things in our life and that we're doing things mindfully, it honestly just elevates us to have bigger and better ideas and to go forth and like accomplish more goals. And so, so this really is to say that, you know, it's a, it's a point of celebration that you are as unique as you really are and that you're in control of the meaning that you want your life to have. So if there's something that you've been dying to do, or if there's something that you love to do in your life, but it doesn't fit into the rest of your identity, like pursue it anyway, because that's the control that you have over your own life. That's why it's your own life. And so um, this is definitely, I think, a really important and a really positive thing to remember. Um, so the next time that you feel, you know, down or lost or disconnected, just remember, like, no one's, no one can put anything on me. Like, no one can force their shit on me. Instead, like, I'm the one in control. I, I can at least control and assign meaning to my own life, so I'm going to pick and choose what that is and roll with that, and that's going to be where my head is and where my heart is, and that can just feel so much more whole and make us really relate to who we are. Um, so I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. I loved making it. Um, so if you want to see more content like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would really, really support my channel. And I also would love to hear from you and love to hear your story. So if there's anything that you don't necessarily want to post in the comments or you just want to reach out to me, um, you can email me at bettygrewup at gmail.com. So I really do look forward to hearing from you. Um, and other than that, I make videos every week. So I will see you back here next Wednesday. Bye.